and um, start out uh, really with this mindset around how we can create habits that lead to successful outcomes. And, you know, the, we all have habits and we're programmed to uh, respond and behave in a certain way and, and it gets ingrained in us as it's repeated over time. And so a habit is just something that we do over and over again, really without thinking about it. And those habits can be good. They can be very positive, empowering habits that lead us to successful outcomes. And sometimes they can be not so much, right? Sometimes they can be habits that lead us, um, you know, to overindulge or overeat or overwork. Um, or it could be uh, habits around things that are not healthy, like not exercising or drinking excessively or smoking or, you know, whatever that might look like. And um, so this is an opportunity this morning to kind of take a look at what are the habits in your life that you would like to change and to create something much more positive in the process to do that. So this uh, material this morning, I am taking from the book uh, by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan called The One Thing. And I'll share a link on the Facebook page on the Monday Morning uh, Mojo page for you if you are interested in ordering the book. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, but I believe through their website, which is theonething.com, with the number, the numeral one in the, um, in the URL, I believe it's a little less expensive when you order it directly from their website. So I'll share that link. And so the one thing is, is really a fascinating, easy read in the sense that this is not rocket science, yet we know that just because something is simple in its um, theory, right, doesn't necessarily mean that it is um, easy. Oh, I just realized I didn't hit the live button on. There we go. So just want to make sure. Uh, can you all see the slides still? Somebody just say yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. So the one <laughs> thing is, is really, um, it's about taking this surprisingly simple approach to creating extraordinary results. And it's, it's really about narrowing your focus so that you can go big. And the book will talk about, other than habits, it will also talk about um, time management. It will talk about, within time management, the 80-20 principle. It will go over uh, how to really um, create this domino effect in your life, right, where you can line up the dominoes and really see the sequential uh, pattern towards successful outcomes, uh, and a lot of other things that uh, I'm not going to discuss today. I am going to focus on the one part of the book where they discuss habits. So I, I decided to use Gary's material because Gary and Jay uh, have done the work for us. So no sense in reinventing the wheel. So you can also check out on their website. There are a lot of resources. There is the website in the slide, theonething.com. And uh, there is a lot of downloads and things that you'll be able to take advantage of. So um, definitely recommend that if you're looking to take a more focused and organized approach uh, to, to really managing your time and actions to get results. So there's my plug for the one thing. So I have shared this quote before in different ways. Uh, this is uh, a quote from Mahatma Gandhi. And if you take away one thing this morning, it would be this. Your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. And your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. Your values become your destiny. So in our intention around really getting clear about our beliefs, we can see how that filters all the way down through we are creating our lives around us through the way that we think. And because of that, right, and that, that pattern of thinking, we're creating habits. And so, again, those habits, if they are positive and empowering and moving us closer to the outcomes that we really want, that, that, is, that is awesome. If it's not, you know, you have to look at, is this really holding me back? 
is this keeping me from the very destiny I want to create? And so our opportunity is to see how we could change those habits. This conversation would be, um, would not be really powerful if we didn't talk about willpower for a minute. And, um, you know, I think a lot of us believe that we can kind of sum up this willpower and we can, uh, you know, convince ourselves or talk ourselves into, you know, whatever mindset we want so that it can um, sustain us for those things that we want to do, willpower, right, or things that we want to avoid. And the truth about willpower is that you, it's, it's not a will call. In other words, you can't just sum it up. You can't call it out. You can't just like stir it up within you and say, okay, I've got all this willpower and now I can ward off, you know, uh, anything that I shouldn't be doing or thinking or saying, or I can, I can, uh, you know, create this uh, desire to exercise because now I have this willpower. It's not really the case because we have to also look at energy and we have to look at our production and productivity throughout the day. So we, all of us, whether we're morning people or not, although I know this group you must be because I've got you out here at 7.30 in the morning on a Monday. Uh, but you know, in the morning we tend to have more energy. We tend to be more in control of our time. We tend to be uh, clearer or more passionate and certainly more optimistic about the things that we want to accomplish. But as the day goes on and we are using our energy and we're, we're using our mental capacity, we're thinking and planning and doing, uh, you know, we start to, to drift down. And of course, I'm not going to get into, you know, is it time for coffee or, or whatever to boost our energy? Sure, there are some ways you can do that, but it's not going to necessarily bring the willpower up. So what we have to look at is, is not this magic juju willpower. We have to look at what is our intention and why do we want to accomplish X? Um, is, is it connected to our purpose? Is it connected to our passion? Is it connected to our goals? Is it really creating that big why? And we've done a lot of work on that in the last few weeks together here. That is really where you're going to find the motivation and the drive to continue. Um, so it is not really about willpower. And if you guys have questions around that, I'd be happy to talk to you a little bit more. So what we're really talking about then, because that whole subject of willpower, it's, it, it kind of gives you the image of start, stop, start, stop. What we're really talking about is, de is developing discipline and what the role of discipline really has in your pursuit of achievement. And so it, it is about focus and it is about creating a uh, pattern, right? Because that's what a habit is. It's just a pattern of, of activities or thoughts that we now are, are really doing on a very subconscious level. So can we shift that energy? Can we shift that attention to the things that we really know will help us and move us forward? And can we develop the discipline around that? So it can, it, it is time on task, right? It can develop over time with the right intention. And we're gonna talk about a tool today that can help you with that. Uh, and as you can see from the slide, uh, day 66, the habit forms. So this is another um, myth that was kind of busted or de demystified in the One Thing book. I think a lot of us have been taught to believe that you can create a habit in 21 days. And research has shown it really takes much more than that. It takes about 66 days to form a habit. And that is um, because in, in really developing habits and developing mindset, for some of us, we have, to, we have to do it long enough to undo the programming that was there before. So we're working to undo that, that previous programming and then we are building on the new habit. So it, it takes 66 days to do that. And if you can consistently follow through with whatever it is that you wanna accomplish, um, I'm working on something myself right now, uh, my 66 day challenge, which is to exercise for no less than 30 minutes every day. And so when you go through that whole 66 day process, at the time that you get to the end there, you will be doing that now probably for the rest of your life because it's ingrained in you as a habit. And as we do things, anything, right? 
uh, whether the habit is good for us or not, as we do it more, uh, we find a reward in that, right? So I have a slide that we'll discuss uh, in a moment around that. So as we do it, as we do this activity more and more, once we get to that 66th day, well, we're committed now. It, it, we, we built in this, this, again, subconscious habit and we have a reward around it. So we're gonna continue doing it. So again, Gary in the one thing puts this focusing question in front of us, which I find myself using all the time. And for some of you who have read the book, you know where I'm going with this. So this is the focusing question. I'll, I'll share the next slide on the Facebook page too. And I know many of you take notes and really try to, um, you know, create some activities around the things that we discuss here on Monday Morning Mojo. So this is a question that you want to journal around and probably ask yourself throughout the day. And here's the focusing question. What's the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? So if you ask yourself that question, I think that you'll find that it'll open up some new thoughts for you and certainly put you on a probably a different path towards uh, the activities that will bring you results. Now, this can be a very general question if you're just asking it of yourself without really knowing what area of your life it's going to apply to, right? So if you can ask yourself this question in relation to your business, in relation to your relationship, in relation to your health and wellness, then that takes on a different um, meaning, but it really allows you to go deeper into that focus. So if I'm looking at my uh, health and wellness, I can say, okay, so what is the one thing I can do in terms of my health that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? And that brings me into a really clear picture of where I need to create some goals and some habits. So here's the diagram to help with that. I'll share this on the Facebook page too, right? So it's about asking yourself this question in all these different areas of your life. And I don't remember, I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah, I think it was two weeks ago. I shared on the Facebook group, we talked a little bit about the wheel of life. So this is, it sort of resembles the wheel of life. And what it is, is a reminder that we are one person, uh, really with so many different aspects and different um, parts of our lives. And so if we only put attention to one thing, I know I'm making a pun on words here, but really if we only put attention to one thing for too long, well, the rest of these things will, will not get the same attention. So we're not gonna see growth. And Gary talks about that in the One Thing book too. And he's honest about it. He says, look, if you have a really important goal and you're going to put your, your commitment and you're going to put um, you know, your focus and discipline around that, well, then be prepared. The other areas of your life you know, are going to be affected by that, right? So we just have to accept that to a degree. But yet he does a great job of reminding us that we do still have all these other areas. And we should be asking ourselves this one thing question in, in every aspect and perhaps creating a goal in each aspect of our lives. And that's why he'll go into, he, he goes into time blocking and some other things because uh, again, as you create this, this goal and you're focused on it, you have to time block for it. So my goal around exercising 30 minutes a day I find that the day I don't really start, when I started the day without having like a clear idea of when that's going to happen because I didn't time block it, it's a struggle to get to it. So it, it's really about making sure that you are also time blocking on your calendar, making an appointment with yourself to do this work. So for some of you who are maybe not as aware of your habits currently because it is on a very subconscious level. Uh, this is just a thought I, I threw in here. You might wanna, uh, it doesn't have to even be anything this sophisticated. <laughs> you just take a, you know, some, some paper and pen and just jot down things that come to you throughout the day that you're recognizing. You know what, this is a habit. I, I definitely have created this habitual behavior around this activity. And, and some of you may wanna do this first to figure out what are those positive habits because you want to continue to reinforce them 
And what are some of the maybe negative habits that you definitely now recognize and would like to, to do some work around uh, and change? So this is just a thought for some of you. Um, so I realize now uh, this is what we were mentioning a minute ago, the habit formation loop. So we, again, these habits are on a very subconscious level for us now because we just do it uh, repetitiously without thinking about it. And something comes up for us, like a, a trigger, some kind of a cue, right, in our environment or even in our thoughts or, you know, people around us, something sparks a reminder that, oh, we want to engage in that habit right now, right? So I'm sure you've all, um, maybe you, you know someone who smokes or you did in the past, some things like that cup of coffee is like a trigger and you want to start smoking. So that reminder comes up and then as we do that more and more, it just becomes routine, right? So now the habit actually just becomes the action you take. So you don't even so much need the trigger because it's ingrained in you as this habit. And there's some reward, there's some benefit to you. Uh, it's, it's either enjoyable or it keeps you from doing something else uh, or it's easy, it's pleasurable. You know, it, there's some reward and I'm sure if you were to list out your habits, you could probably understand the reward. And uh, for a simpler way of looking at this, uh, here's, here's the reward, right? So there's some kind of cue uh, and we have a reward. So how do we work on changing um, our habits or creating really good habits, better habits? And so I mentioned this, uh, it takes 66 days to form that habit. It's um, again, discussed in the One Thing book. And uh, Gary and Jay have uh, put together, as I said, some great resources on the One Thing uh, website. I will share this with you on the Facebook page. And it's just a simple, I have mine right here. It's just a simple form you can print out. And what you're going to do is decide what the habit is that you want to create. So as I said, in my example, it's to exercise 30 minutes every day. And then at the top of the page, you can, I, I'm sorry, this is a blurry image. At the top of the page, uh, you'll see that you have different areas of your life, right? Those circles that we just looked at. So you can circle like in case, in my case, I circled physical health. And then you write the date that you're starting. And all you do is X off or put a star, happy face or heart, whatever you want, uh, every time you do it. Now, it takes 66 days, 66 sequential days to form that habit. If you miss a day, you have to start over. And if you, <laughs> you can cheat if you really want to, but I think that's another question you have to ask yourself. Is that another pattern, right? Do you find that you cheat yourself uh, out of opportunities? Do you cheat yourself out of the growth that you really want uh, because you make it too easy on yourself? You don't take accountability or responsibility for your actions. So if you miss a day, you have to start over. And believe me, I've done it many times because life does happen. And I think, again, if we're committed to forming this new habit, whatever it's about, it could be around lead generation every day in your business. It could be around exercise. It could be around um, positive affirmations. It could be around spending time with your, your spouse or partner. You know, it could be whatever is really, you know, a goal for you to work on in your, in one of those areas of your life. Uh, if you're committed to it and the process, um, <coughs> you find yourself missing a day and you have to start the process over, well, that, that's, a, that's a teaching as well. So we all have to accept that that is really part of the commitment. And so I'll share this PDF with you on the Facebook page. And uh, I would love the, the Mojo page to continue to be that community. So many of you uh, have really like shared things and made comments. Your interaction on that page throughout the week is really what makes this work. And so if you would be brave enough to share what your 66 day challenge is and, and let us know your progress, I think you'll find that we can be a community of support for you. And so I, um, I would encourage you to, to do that. Use that page as your platform. So as we wrap up this morning, uh, what are some of your action steps? 
So I think number one, it could be to buy the book if, if I've inspired you uh, and you have uh, a desire to read the one thing, then you could buy the book or download it on Audible and get into that. Uh, the second thing would be to possibly do the uh, habit journal and uh, identify some of the habits that you're currently engaged in. Celebrate the positive ones recognize the negative and make a decision around what, which, what, which habits you want to change. Uh, the other action step would be to decide that you want to take the 66 day challenge and create a new habit, a more positive, um, more abundant, more um, results driven uh, habit that will help you move forward in some way. So that's what I would say is next. And as always, I appreciate you joining me on uh, the Mo Monday Morning Mojo. And I know that some of you are here with me on Zoom. So as always, I would love to know if you have any ahas or questions before we end this morning. I put one in the chat box. Oh, you did? Let me go there, Jill. Okay, so finding that one thing, is it based on trial and error? So. Tell me a little bit more about that question, Joe. Um, there are so many, you know, I mean, it, we're not single, you know, we're not uh, amoebas. <laughs> so we have a lot, that we have a lot that we live with every day. And it seems that um, there are many to choose from. So, you know, you pick one, cause you had mentioned, oh, you get into the first and then you skip it and you go back to day one. Um, so the trial and error and giving, your room, giving yourself room to actually go through a trial and error phase, I'm assuming that's, that's the norm? Have you, I mean, I haven't read his book, but is that part of what's anticipated? So, so are you're you not disappointed? About, are you talking about, no, it doesn't have to be. I think that's about mindset, right? So are you talking about uh, the 66 day challenge and creating a new habit? Correct, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say you have to check your intentions, right? Starting this, this process. So if you're really committed, then it's not about saying, okay, I'm gonna go easy on myself. If I skip a day, I'll just start over. That's not a free pass. But what I'm saying is um, if you do skip a day, you have to be willing to start over. So I think you, you have to enter this challenge, this, this process of creating a new habit with the intention that you're not going to be skipping and that you're going to be committed to it and that you're going to find a way to make it work. So I would say it is much more strategic and um, yes, life can happen. Yet at the same time, you, you know, you have to check the commitment level to say, okay, will I also be willing to um, think it through ahead of time, right? So in other words, if something comes up and I'm scheduled to go on my walk in the morning, and I wake up late, that doesn't mean I scrap the day. I, I, if I'm really committed, I'm going to start looking at my schedule and deciding when I can get that 30 minutes in. And even if it means, which happened to me last week, even if it means I've got to do a 30 minute, you know, uh, yoga thing on YouTube. And I did that at like 930 or 945 at night, because that's when hey. I put it in. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great question though. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Any, anybody else have any questions or feedback? Was this helpful? Yeah. Yes. Tell me. Well, I have a little calendar, a little tiny one for 2020. I'm going to go get it as soon as we're done and leave it here. I exercised already this morning. Great. I mean, I have a goal. So I've got a weight goal and I've got a size pants goal. Which I got a size ten baby. I'm yeah. under 150 pounds. Uh, now I'm really on a that true as women. We're always thinking about what size can I get into. <laughs> I get it. I totally get it. I, I, I kind of. It was more for my health because my mom passed away in February of a massive heart attack, and I'm like, oh my god, I got children. I have to be healthy. Right. So that's where it got me going. And so. Um, I'm going to go get my little calendar. I'm going to put my something in there today. And I want to commit to this because I mean, it, it does be, you know, my, being healthy does have a byproduct of yes, losing weight, getting into a different size. But that's something too, that I feel great this morning. Cause I got up and I exercised. I just got the blood pumping. So Good for you. So I'm, um, um, thank you. This was like so perfect today. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Good. So, I'm excited it's to It's like the it. universe does give us what we need when we need it, right? However it shows up. True. 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, anyone else want to share before we sign off for this morning? All right, well, I really appreciate you being here with me every Monday. And um, again, you'll find the resources on the Facebook page. And if I can help, if you have any questions, reach out. Some of you have done that, and I'm happy to chat with you. Uh, and, uh, you know, again, if you could share your journey with us and find that support here in this community. And certainly, if you're finding that this has been really helpful to you, if this has been, um, you know, transcendental in some way, you're making changes in your life, please share this with someone. I mean, the community can grow, and I would love for you to invite them to the Facebook page. And if any of you are watching and you're not a member of the Facebook page and you can't figure out how to get in it, just uh, send me a message and I'll make sure you, you are in. And uh, again, because that's where more things happen throughout the week. So have a great week. Thanks again. And I look forward to seeing you, seeing you again like this next Monday. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye.